So we talked about Vitae and the restructure. So the Lions, with all these signings, still have a ton of cheese in, in terms of uh, cap space. I, going off the, the site that I like to use, you could see them having anywhere in that, that 25-ish million range. Now, certainly they have spent about $12 million on a draft class because they have two first-round picks. I'm glad we don't have to talk about the Lamar thing today. My thoughts are out there yesterday. If you missed it, by the way, download the podcast. Do yourself a favor and go back. I had had enough yesterday, and I snapped a little bit. So download the podcast, Spreaker, Spotify, iTunes, wherever. Go back and, and peep that about about the about an hour in. Go back and listen to that. But, you know, I'm not a guy that fans the flames, per se, but he's he stockpiled the cash and the cap space. They're going to make a push for Bobby Wagner here, man. You feeling that at all? I would. I would definitely. I would. And and I don't I don't usually fall for that stuff, Lindsay. And it it goes against my inner wisdom to say that because it just seems like it seems like Bobby Wagner has it set up the way he wants it set up right now where I think he wants to be in Seattle. That's what I think he wants, like, in his heart. He has Dallas, you know, in his back pocket to drive up the price a little bit. I think he likes the chair he's sitting in right now. But he, <laughs> but he hasn't signed. Yeah. Man, but you get Bobby Wagner, dude. I, I think that's a that's a chess move to me. 100%. I, 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 would, I would definitely go all out and try to get him. If you're, going, if you're all in, if you're all in, then that's what you do. You do all-in moves. Yeah. Yeah. Spend more. I don't usually come to this side of things. You know that. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually the rational one. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's eminent or anything like that. That's an awful lot of chips mm-hmm. to still have. For sure. After the Bears got done making it rain in the club. <laughs> Take me through this, Spenny. I personally think it's for Chark. I think they're they're making that money to get okay. get, a, get a deal done with DJ Chark. It's Bobby Wagner again, like you said. For him, it looks like it's Dallas or Seattle. Yeah, I, I, I doubt he signs with with Detroit. And there are a lot of good linebackers in this draft. It's in the second round. There's a, there's going to be a bunch of good guys available, whether it be Jack Campbell, Dayon Henley, Marion Overshone, different people like that. So I do think they're going to draft a linebacker, but I mean, you can't say no to a guy who's made All Pro teams since 2014 right. every year. 